What is going on with the housing market with all of this economic volatility? Well, it's been about two weeks since our last market update and a lot has changed. So here is what is happening and how this matters to you if you're looking to buy or sell in the spring. So if you've seen any of the news lately or honestly just been on your phone, you've heard about the Silicon Valley bank failure. Now, I am not an economist, so I am not going to be doing a deep dive into the bank failures and what that means for the economy. However, I do want to take a second right now and talk about what this all means for the housing market, what we're seeing, and again, what you should be doing and how you should be pivoting if you're a buyer or a seller. Now, just two or three weeks ago, we were actually seeing buyer demand simmer down a little bit after the February CPI report indicated that inflation was rising and that again caused mortgage rates to rise with them. Now, all of that has changed in the last five days with the news of the bank failures and then with now today, another CPI or consumer price index report coming out saying that inflation is actually softening. So what do these lower mortgage rates mean for you if you're a buyer? Well, it means you have more purchasing power, meaning you can actually now afford more home, or it means that your mortgage, your monthly payment, is now going to be lower on that exact same priced house that you were looking at, say, two or three weeks ago. For example, if you're a buyer looking at a $500,000 house, you're putting down 20% and this is a 30 year fixed loan. Well, you're going to find that a mortgage right now is $128 less than what it was just two weeks ago. We've also seen these lower mortgage rates help our clients directly. I mean, we just got somebody into contract on their first home and they initially thought the payment was going to be much higher. They had a, you know, above 6% rate and now they're locked in at 5.75. Now, this is excellent news for buyers. However, it does also mean one other thing that you need to be aware of. There's going to be more competition. We saw last year as the rates increased all throughout 2022, that any time there was a dip in the mortgage rates, we saw a surge in mortgage applications and in pending sales. And we saw that again this year in January after mortgage rates took a short dip as well. Now, the CPI report that came out this morning indicated that inflation was at its lowest rate since September of 2021. Now this is fantastic news because as inflation drops, so will the mortgage rates. And this is a great downward trend that we're seeing, but for how long these rates will drop and for how low is still yet to be determined. Now the busy spring market is right around the corner. So it's safe to say that with this drop in mortgage rates, we are going to see a lot of buyers come back into the market. A lot of these buyers, again, they were priced out because the mortgage rates were over 7% at the end of last year. Now with mortgage rates hovering at low 6% or even high 5% in certain cases, we're going to see a lot more buyers come to the market and the issue is going to be inventory. Now, what can you do if you're a buyer who's already facing really low inventory and now more buyers? Well, check back in with your lender, your loan officer, double check and see, you know, what this dip in rates mean for you as a buyer. For example, when rates were higher, you might have had to ask the seller for maybe ten dollars to $15,000 to buy down your interest rates so that your mortgage was more affordable. But with this recent dip, maybe you don't need to do that anymore. And that could be a great way to make your offer strong. Now, this is where your real estate agent comes into play. They'll be able to let you know, depending on what kind of houses you're looking at, what the inventory is like in your area. I know here in Solano County, inventory is still an issue. So it is really important to get a strategy together with your realtor on how your offer can be as competitive as possible so that when you find the right house, you're able to beat out all of these other buyers who are now back in the market. So if you are actively looking for a home, make sure you're doing so every single day or you're having your realtor do so for you every single day. Homes are no longer sitting on the market. You know, we're finding, especially in that first time home buyer pool here, if the home is in decent shape and especially if it's turnkey and beautiful, they are going off the market in days and we are seeing multiple offers back in certain scenarios. Again, this is where you're going to want to rely on your local realtor to make your offer as competitive as possible and stand out amongst the others. Now, if you're a seller, these lower mortgage rates are a great thing as well, because this means that you have a bigger buyer pool. Yay! You may be thinking to yourself, well, if the mortgage rates drop and there's now a larger buyer pool, hence more competition and people can afford more, why not just raise the price of my home so I can get more money out of it? 
Well, that tactic might actually deter more people and have your home sit on the market because buyers are very price sensitive right now. Affordability is honestly at like an all time low and buyers just aren't going for homes that are listed above market value. Now you're probably going to be able to get more money for your house if you create competition by having a competitive listing price, right? That means somewhere around market value, maybe even a little bit below. Now, if you list your house at a more competitive price, you're going to see more buyers come and see the home, which is going to give you a bigger likelihood of getting multiple offers. And that's when we see our sellers really get top dollar. For yeah. But just remember, every single transaction is two-sided. You know, just like you, the seller, are going to want top dollar for your home, the buyer is also going to want a fair deal as well. And just to help you keep in perspective, buyers right now in today's market with the rates, even though they're lower, they are still incredibly higher than they've been in the last two or three years. And we've seen clients who are buying homes anywhere from 550000 to 600000 and their payments on that home are anywhere from 3500 to $4,000. Whoa. So just understand understand that it is a two-way street. The last thing you want to do is overprice your house, deter buyers from coming into it, and you know miss out on all of that competition from buyers returning to the market. So there's where we're at right now in the middle of March. Now it's going to be very interesting as we see how these bank failures play out in the economy and how that's going to affect the housing market. Now the next date that you're going to want to look out for is March 22nd. This is when the feds are going to meet to determine if they are going to pause their rate increase increases or if they are going to maybe decrease them more than they initially expected. Now, this will be a good indicator to see which way mortgage rates will go, and that largely is going to shape the buyer demand for this year. So thank you so much for watching this quick market update. Now, if you have any questions or you need help navigating this continually shifting market, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to be a resource for you. Feel free to email us, text us, call us. All the information is in the description below. And if you wanna stay up to date on the real estate market here in Solano County, as well as learn a little bit more about what it's like to live here, feel free to subscribe and tap that bell for notifications. And if you have any thoughts on where you think the housing market is going to go this year, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and drop a comment below. Until then, see you next time.